So acid base indicators work because in the acid form, it is one color, then it goes to the conjugate base, it's a different color. Or if it's a base, it's one color and it moves to the conjugate acid, it's a different color. So with the acid base titrations, we're either adding acid or base. Uh, and so in this uh, situation here, so if we add uh, more acid, uh, then that will increase this side and it'll start going from this color into this color. Or if we add more base, it'll remove the H pluses uh, if we add more base, it'll turn it into water, uh, neutralize it, and so this will decrease. And so we'll get uh, more of this color turning into this color. Uh, and in a similar sense here, uh, let's use it as high pH. So high pH, uh, increasing the OH minuses. So we're going to be increased turning this into this. Increasing this side will push, Le Chatelier's principle will push to this side. Low pH, adding H pluses will decrease this area down here. And so we'll get from red to blue in this particular instance. So just showing you what the chemicals look like. Uh, you can see here with metal orange, when it is a uh, lower pH, it's red. And then as it gets uh, higher pH, more basic, it goes to a yellow. And this is what it looks like. So as soon as you see that slight change to an orange, uh, that's your end point. That's when you stop and that's the volume you, you take. Uh, a similar phenophthalene is probably a little bit more common. Uh, that one, that's what the chemical looks like. So that is acidic, is clear to basic pink. Um, and that's what it looks like. So probably an even fainter pink than this is when you should stop. So how do you know which indicator to use? Well, the thing is the indicator, we're just looking for the color change to indicate that there has the reaction has been neutralized. And so what we have here is that the colors will change. Uh, down here, it takes a, your eyes can only detect about a 10 times difference uh, in indi color, indicator color species difference between the, the two different colors, the acid conjugate base or base conjugate acid. We'll talk about acid conjugate base for this example. Uh, and so that takes about two pH units. If you realize pH is a change, one pH unit is a change in concentration of about 10. Um, and so two pH units concentration of about 100. So you'll see it within two pH units. Uh, and so the trick is, if I just jump, is you need to look at the pKa of the acid base indicator. Um, and the color change will take around take, take place around uh, plus or minus one of that pKa. And why is that? Why do we? Uh, why is that the case? So when the pH is the pKa, we have a situation here. Uh, well, what we're really looking for is when there is about half and half, half red, half blue. Uh, that is the point where we're going to start to be able to detect. Uh, a change from red to blue or blue to red. Uh, and so that midpoint uh, is when this is equal to this here. Uh, and when these two are equal, if we substitute that into the equilibrium constant or the acid dissociation constant, equilibrium constant for acids, um, we have this situation here. So we substitute uh, this into this equation here. Uh, that allows us to cancel these out. And that shows us that when we have half and half, so half blue, half red, uh, the Ka and the hydrogen ion concentration equal. So if we take the negative log of both of those, we get the pH and the pKa. So that tells us that when the pH is equal to the pKa, we have about half blue, half red. Uh, and so that is the that is the point where we're going to be able to make a detection with our eyes to be able to see that the color changes. Uh, and so that's how you determine which indicator to use. You have a look at the pKa value. Uh, and you also need to look at uh, what the titration curves are. So please make sure I'll go to the, I'll put a link in the top corner for the titration curves because that um, sort of, and there's also the terminology. Uh, make sure you've watched the terminology uh, so you know what the difference between endpoint and um, stoichiometric uh, point is, equivalence point is. Uh, and so if you know, uh, so with strong bases, just to jump a little bit, uh, strong bases uh, will be up here. So this is 14 and this is about seven. Um, so because the pKa is higher up here, you can't use it with weak bases. So it has to be with strong bases. With metal orange, uh, because the pKa is down here, you can't use it. You can use it with strong acid, uh, strong base, strong and weak bases and strong acids, but you can't use it 
uh, with weak bases, uh, weak acids. Um, and so you're using, being aware of what, the strength of the acid and base that you're using will let you know the pH range to which the color will change and that will help you determine which indicator to use. And so your data booklet has a list of all of these um, pKa's and pH ranges and phenylphthalines, uh, sorry, and indicators and their color changes. Uh, and the next video will help you understand what the titration curves look like.